All right, so what I'm gonna do is go over a theory I have that it basically explains the difference between men and women and why we're wired the way we are. But first, I'm gonna defend it a little. <laughs> so to be what I, I'm a little sick, twisted in the head, you know, a little bit, but not unhealthy. You know, I'm in the infantry. So what I do in the infantry, you gotta be a little twisted in the head to do that because without sugarcoating it, what is my job? To go and kill and maim other human beings. Now, that's really bad, but that's sugarcoating it. But it's not unhealthy, you just have to find a way to be motivated about it, right? The same way someone who's little twisted wants to be like a mortician or a forensics or like a gynecologist, you gotta be a little twisted in the head to wanna do that job and like be positive about it. So that's my excuse anyways. <laughs> so anyways, men are cursed with a psychological condition. It's, uh, it's basically triggered from our evolution. We can't turn it off. So it, it, we struggle with a constant cavalcade of sexual scenarios and perverted thoughts that just keep going through our head over and over and over, right? Oh, what's up, CPX? What's up, everybody? So why is that? Why do we have, why are men so bad or why are men so perverted, right? Why do we have that always on our mind? and women don't. It's not that men grow up and they lose their imagination. That's not what it is. No, no, no. And when we're young, we have imagination and everyone thinks that, oh, you lose your imagination when you come old. No, we don't. It's just a different imagination. <laughs> different things go through our head. What, why? Because we're wired a certain way. And that all goes back to hunter-gatherer days, how we evolved. Why, did, why are we this way? Because we're wired that way for thousands and thousands of years. Men and women had a task organization. Men had more of the hunting. So we had that in our mind. And it's very much ingrained in our psyche today. Just think about it. When we go out, we look, go to a club or a bar, we look for women. We're like inside our mind and we're looking at like a herd of prey. And we have to decide which one we want to go after. Is, do I have a chance of catching it? Is that something I want to eat? <laughs> that we have that going off in our mind, we don't even know it, right? Seriously, what guy couldn't walk into a room of females and say yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no? It doesn't mean he's bad, it's just he knows, everyone knows, because that goes through your mind. You're like, we're constantly looking for, decide whether something is a target or not. It doesn't mean it's like dehumanizing, it's just, is that a sexual, something I'm attracted to or is she not? Is she in this category or in that? Men are very compartmentalized, right? We have little compartments. Like women are not. Women have like, it, it's like a ball of Christmas lights in your brain all in one ball. If one of them goes out, they all fucking go out. But men, we're in these little compartments. Cause it doesn't matter if a girl, a hot girl burns your house down. If she's really hot and you're single, you probably would still have sex with her. You'd probably hate her. But that's a separate thing, which is separate, compartmentalized, right? So it, it's so, think about it. Why do we have the idea of grenades? Like we call a girl that we didn't really want to hook up with a grenade because it's better to have something to eat <laughs> than nothing, right? It's so bad. And all we need is like a visual representation, like a fucking mannequin or even a torso mannequin. <laughs> like that would get our imagination going. Is it, is it any surprise that the movie Mannequin, a guy made that up? Of course a guy made, made up the movie Mannequin. But if you haven't seen what that is, it's from the 80s. It's a movie where a mannequin turns into a real woman <laughs> and then the, the guy bangs her, like becomes his boyfriend and then she want, he wants her to not go back to being a mannequin. Like so, I, I'm, the, I'm guessing the guy who made that movie was probably walking through Macy's saw like a fucking torso mannequin and then just imagine the rest and he's like oh that was a real woman i would probably hook up with her light bulb <laughs> seriously though that's that's what it is and it's just because of our our primitive nature which really drives us more than anything even when you're a kid think about who who saw that movie roger rabbit ever anyone ever seen that movie when you're a kid who framed roger rabbit remember that movie like, we have to inject sex into everything, even that movie. Think about how fucked up that movie is for kids. It's about a, a slutty-ass lounge singer who 
is playing patty cake or Roger Rabbit thinks she's playing patty cake with some other guy and he hires a private detective fucking cheaters <laughs> to go figure out if she's fucking banging someone else like dude they just called it who fucked Jessica Rabbit what kind of movie is that for a, a kids anyways like a big titted slutty lounge singer that was like you know banging other do other cartoons <laughs> like that's basically how bad it is and it you know it goes it starts to go away when you're a kid but not really it just you just imagine other things you know like and we all do it no matter what a guy says they're gonna lie because they don't want to look like a pig i don't give a fuck i'm gonna fucking say it but they're gonna lie and act like they don't they don't want to be a pig but you know they already had thought about it because it's Every woman you meet ever in your life that you've never seen before, the first thing a guy determines in his mind without even knowing it is, would I bang her or not? That's, I mean, without sugarcoating it, that's what he has to decide. He doesn't know that, but you go in one of the other categories, right? Why is that? Why is that? Anybody know why? Because guys fucking jerk off constantly because we have to fill that urge, that you know, primal urge, that was 50% of the reason why we are still alive. Because we hunted, women gathered, reared the children, there was a task organization, right? That's the reason for it, we should be thankful for that. You know, like, because every guy jerks off, right? Every guy does, that he has that need. If you go to a job interview, this is really fucked up, right? But <laughs> if you go to a job interview, and as you're shaking the guy's hand, if you're a woman, he's already decided right there if he wants to bang you on his table or not. That doesn't mean he's gonna act on it or do anything rude, but he's already decided, like, as he was shaking your hand. <laughs> so, like, hey, if you get the job, <laughs> it's probably <a> yes. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, this is only my second drink. Wait till I have a fucking, like, three more. Because every guy does that. Every guy has to fill that urge. Every guy does it. Because guys don't go and like and jerk off in lieu of getting laid that's not that's not a thing guys go out and get laid so they can have more shit to jerk off to this is the other way around because that's that thing is not going to stop even the nicest guys it's in there just we all have to filter it and be you know not be awful too <laughs> and sick like i am being right now so you know forget about like fucking <laughs> not having chocolate or alcohol for lint try not jerking off like <laughs> that's that see if a guy could do that then you're really a believer but i think you know because like the only thing worse than being nailed to a cross is is because you don't have a free hand <laughs> oh well that's my theory that's the way guys are wired women are wired completely different right women are like everything affects them everything matters like i said it's a fucking ball of christmas lights that if one goes out the whole ball fucking goes out because that has to be that way because back in like you know the old old days when we were like barely human like i said women were gathering rearing the children they could never turn off they could never turn off they had to always be on alert because they can't let anything happen the kid they're back in the tribe they always were on alert you know, that's what, why do you think women fucking hate each other? Why they're born with this psychological war? Because of all the thousands of years they spent with each other, you know, thinking like that bitch next door, the cave next door, if her man comes home with me and mine doesn't, we're all gonna fucking die. So fuck them, like it's survival. So women are not materialistic. That's not what it is. That's not what it is. No. They, they just get a bad rap. Women are just attracted to good hunters. And that's out of uh, instinct because it's survival. It's just an instinct that you are gonna be attracted to a good hunter. And what's a good hunter today? Someone who makes a living for himself or has money. That's the equivalent of that. So I don't you know, look at that, like think women are materialistic or any of that if you are attracted to a guy who's got his stuff together. That's, you're just attracted to a good hunter. You know what I mean? Guys, on the other hand, like I said, compartmentalize. So, because we had to be compartmentalized just the same. Because we would go out on the hunt, we'd see death, tragedy, maybe our friend would die, whatever. And then we had to come home and forget about that shit. We had to, because we had to go do it the next day, or we had to be with our family, the tribe at night, whatever. We had to forget about that. 
And that also explains why guys are so much easier to get along with. They bond. Why do guys bond? Because if you've been through any kind of trauma with anyone, man or woman, you immediately create a bond, don't you? Everyone does. When you go through trauma, you create a bond. So guys, again, thousands of years going through trauma and death and hunt and the exhilaration and the adrenaline, it's a natural bond. So that's why guys get along. But it's not a bad, no one's worse. No one's worse. No one's, no one's stronger. No one's better. We have different strengths and weaknesses. That's it. It doesn't mean, we, like, women could do shit that guys can't do. Like, when a guy's sick, he's a fucking baby, right? He acts like, like the world's ending. A guy can't even take it. A woman can take a lot, a lot more pain than a guy can, you know? Guys just maybe, we have bigger bills, so we're naturally stronger. So what? But it doesn't mean anybody's more stronger or whatever, you know? But everybody takes that the wrong way. Anyways, that's kind of my thought, my theory on the way we're wired. I don't know if anybody <laughs> probably doesn't agree with that, but that's my, it's well thought out. It's fucking sick, but it's well thought out. <laughs>